Well, Rich Rodriguez was being rumored to take over a number of college football programs across the nation. His Wildcats of Arizona finished a 6-6 six and six campaign and prepared to take on New Mexico in the New Mexico Bowl. So the Lobos stay home and reach postseason play under Bob Davey, former Notre Dame coach, for the first time since 2007. So let's uh, give it up for the home team and let's talk about the Lobos first. They certainly didn't make postseason play as a 7-5 and five team based on passing the football. The passing game for the Lobos is atrocious. They threw five touchdowns versus 11 interceptions between starting quarterback Lamar Jordan, 53%, four TD, six picks. Austin Apodaca, 52%, one TD, five picks. Bad, bad, bad. They run the football, and they do it effectively with a number of guys. Jarrell Presley, 846 yards and 11 scores. Terion Gibson at 766 and six scores, and Jordan pitched in with 672 and six scores. So they run it effectively. They try not to throw it. And when they throw it, it pretty much goes to Damian Gamblin, who caught 33 with two of those big five touchdown passes on the season for New Mexico. Big accomplishment for this program that had just drifted off into nothingville. Uh, New Mexico defeated Boise State. 31-24, that was a huge win. Boise State doesn't lose at home. They had won 18 consecutive games at home. Uh, The Broncos had not lost uh, more than to five different opponents since 1999, and New Mexico pulls it off on the blue turf. They also defeated Utah State. They had a number of significant wins in this season. However, they could have played for the Mountain Division of the Mountain West Conference Championship, but they lost to Colorado State 28-21, the next-to-last game of the season. Otherwise, they played Air Force the next year and could have controlled its destiny the next week, and they defeated Air Force 47-25. Big effort by the Lobos right there, but it didn't matter at that point. So they win with a running game. They win with defense. They've got a strong, strong linebacking core with Dakota Cox. He's the heart and soul of this improved Lobos defense, which finished 11th in the conference in scoring defense last year. They finished 4th in the Mountain West, giving up 27 points per game. Uh, Cox had 89 tackles to lead the team, 11 sacks or 11 tackles for loss and 5 sacks. The other two linebackers, you got Junior uh, Morik Daniels, who had 11 and a half tackles for loss and five and a half sacks, and Kimmy Carson, just a sophomore, so he's going to be around for two more years there in Albuquerque. Eight uh, tackles for loss and three and a half sacks. So that's the New Mexico story. And to compare these two uh, teams, Arizona and New Mexico, we've got two comparison games to look at. They both played Arizona State. Sun Devils defeated uh, New Mexico 34-20. 34 to 10. They won that game by 24. They beat Arizona by 15. Not a whole lot we can tell from that. They both played Nevada. Now, Nevada beat New Mexico by 18, but Arizona beat Nevada by 24 points. So, one game to compare, and we see a noticeable difference there that's not much unexpected. For Arizona, probably won a Pac 12 South Division championship with smoke and mirrors last year to a certain extent. I believed USC, UCLA, and Utah were better teams, but hey, they got it done and they won, and they also beat their arch rival in the Territorial Cup. Couldn't get it done, as we mentioned, this year to fall to six and six. Two huge injuries defined the storyline for the Wildcats this season. A new Solomon couldn't play out the entire year. Uh, He went for 18 touchdowns and four picks, 63% passer. Huge drop-off in the passing game for Arizona. So we read off the numbers for Solomon, who had uh, a fantastic freshman year. So as a sophomore, 18-4 and TD to pick ratio. Gerard Randall cannot throw the football. He's a running quarterback. He's a lefty, doesn't look good, doesn't look comfortable delivering from the pocket. 49% five TDs and three picks. He did run for 702 yards and five touchdowns. Then Brandon Dawkins got some late time in the passing game as the third-string quarterback completed 53%, two TDs, two picks. Scooby Wright lost for the season, should be back for the bowl game. This would be his um, final game, uh, the star middle linebacker for the Arizona Wildcats. Uh, His loss was detrimental, devastating to this defense. It's not a great defense anyway, but without 
Scooby Wright. So this team lost its two stars, and it really showed in particular games. They were mauled by Washington. Not a great Huskies team at 6-6. Uh, six and six. Lost 49-3. to three. Stanford stampeded Arizona. They lost to most of the really good teams on the schedule by a lot. But they hung with USC. The high point of the season was certainly defeating, at the time, number 10, Utah. So that was a big game for Arizona in becoming bowl eligible. They run it with Nick Wilson, of course, at running back, who got nicked up as well this season. 725 yards and eight touchdowns. Jared Baker ran for 691 and six touchdowns. They really spread it out in the passing game. And again, credit Solomon, not so much Dawkins and Randall. Caleb Jones caught 51 and four touchdowns. Johnny Jackson, 50 and five. Then you've got Nate Phillips and David Richards, both caught 41 balls. And Samaje Grant, the guy who goes up top, 30 receptions and two touchdowns. So Arizona spreads it out with a new Solomon at quarterback. And when he's in the game, they're a capable team in the Pac-12. If he's not, they're probably the ninth or 10th best team in the Pac-12. Casey Scourin, 17 of 20 on field goal attempts. They're in sh- solid shape there. Arizona, New Mexico. I like the Wildcats winning this game. Let's call it 41-24. Arizona wins it over New Mexico. It's the Gilded New Mexico Bowl. Need to hear from you now on Mark Rogers TV.